Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Carrie, and in today's video, I will show you how to achieve this very simple but perfect for the fall cut crease look. I used all affordable products. I will link all of the products in the description box below, so go ahead and check that out. And let's jump into the video. The first color I'm using from the Black Opal palette, this is actually called True Melanin. It is their high impact eyeshadows. You can buy this at your local Ulta. The color I'm using is named Reverence. Really nice eyeshadows, you guys. I'm about to deepen my crease using the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette I bought at my local Walgreens. And the number of this color on the back of the palette is number 12. I know, I know, I need to go ahead and retire this eyeshadow brush, but I lost the handle. I still love, love, love this brush. I like a fluffy, thick bristle brush like this to blend out my eyeshadow colors. Right now, I'm going to cut the crease and I'm just adding a light tone eyeshadow um, to my eyelid and I'm just cutting out like a moon shape on my eyelid now I don't know how some makeup artists that are like professional able to do it but I struggle in making my cut crease like symmetrical so I try the best that I can to make it look the same So I'm using this Morphe setting spray and the number 11 from the NYX palette, which is a really bronzy, shimmery color, a really neutral brown tone. And I'm going to pop that on that concealer that I cut my crease with. Um, really neutral, natural looking, but like also very glam. Perfect for the fall season, you guys. To intensify my overall eye look, I'm just going back through with those original colors that I put in my crease just to make sure everything looks well placed. I am deepening that cut crease and making it smoky with a black eyeshadow and I'm going to blend that into my crease. And that black, you guys, just intensified the look and made it so smoky and sultry. I love it. It really set the overall makeup look all together. So that black is a little intense. So to decrease the intensity, I'm just using the colors that I put in my transition shade just to soften up that black a little bit.
For my eyeliner, I am using Milani's Liquid Eye. I'm not for sure if you can find this at any drugstores, but check out their website. I've had this for a while, and I'm just going to smudge that eyeliner into my eyes. So I am adding my liquid eyeliner, which is Sephora's felt tip eyeliner. And I'm going to do a really small baby winged eyeliner. If you need a tutorial in how to do a winged eyeliner, check out this video right here in the iCard. For my lashes, I'm using I Envy by Kiss, my favorite brand of lashes, you guys. It is the number 58 I bought from my local beauty supply store. For my primer, I'm using my NYX Pore Filler Spot Primer. So I'm just applying this on like certain areas of my face. Then I'm going to use my Angel Veil Primer by the brand NYX, and I'm going to put that all over my entire face use the best primer based off your skin type oily dry make sure you know your skin type and buy the primer that fits i'm going to color correct with la girl pro concealer in the color orange i'm going to also set that concealer with my air spun setting spray For my foundation, I am using my Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the color Coconut. It is the number 355. I love this particular foundation. I can add as many coats as I want to get the coverage payoff. I like to add about two coats of this foundation to get the look that I want. For my concealer, I'm using this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the color Mahogany and I'm going to blend that in.
to give me an even brighter highlighter i'm using the maybelline's fit me concealer in the color 40 the color name is caramel and i'm gonna blend that out and set that with my air spun setting powder I am setting that with my Maybelline setting powder in the color Mocha. I like to press my setting press powder into my face. It gives you like extra coverage you guys. Use it, that's what it's for. I'm going to bronze up my face with my Morphe's brown tour in the color showmance so i'm gonna take a blending brush and contour my nose i'm making it look more defined For my blush, I'm using the Sahara Blush Palette. I'm using the color Neo, which is this pretty orangey rust color. Perfect for that fall look that I'm going for. And I feel like it really set the overall look all together. So I'm taking that leftover press powder and just erasing a little bit of that blush. It was too defined and I didn't like it. So yeah, your press powder can help erase any mistakes. I'm setting that powder with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I'm lining my lips with my Juvia's Place Lip Liner in the color Brownie. My lipstick I am using is by NYX, their suede matte lipstick in the color Cold Blue. I really like this color. I think it's perfect for the fall. And I'm going to use that Maybelline concealer in the color Caramel. And I'm going to add that to the center of my lips to give me a very beautiful nude color. I'm smoking out that eyeliner with a black. And that's gonna like set this color all the way together, you guys. Ooh -wee. For highlighter, I'm using Black Radiance Highlighter. I will link all of the products in the description box. Oh, look at this beautiful highlighter, you guys. It's not too much. It can give you like an everyday glam look. Like, with this look, you're giving them diva status. You are about to kill the streets these days, okay? Look at this makeup, you guys. Ooh-wee, just absolutely beautiful. I'm taking that highlighter and adding it to the inner corner of my eyes. And look, ooh-wee, this beautiful gold lip gloss by Revlon. All right, you guys, this is my finished look. What do you think? I am in love with this look. It's giving me like a bronze golden vibe with this highlighter and the overall eyeshadow look. I am in love with this nude lippy. 
this is just perfect for the fall season and we use all affordable products so let me know what you think in the comment section down below and if you haven't go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification as well i'll see y'all real soon with a brand new video bye